Hi there fellow musicians, this is Jim from Sawmill Studios in Stockholm. I would like to share a tip with you how to control several instruments with only one meter track and the modulation. When you're writing or composing orchestral stuff, you are often using the modulation wheel which controls the, um, the amount of sound um, it really actually controls the frequency of how, how many instruments or bows used the expression is really the, the volume here it's cc7 i guess and this is cc1 so this demo uh, show you how to use only one track to control several plugins in this case five because this is a solution which uh, works with a cluster of five plus five plus five and this is how it's done first of all you create a MIDI track and then you draw your modulation curve which is here and this is how it looks when all the five instruments are listening to one MIDI track So all the modulation wheels in each of those five plugins listened to the, this MIDI track. And this is done with the following solution. Uh, the first one here is connected to MIDI track one. The rest of the tracks is also connected, but the MIDI track one here corresponds sorry the instrument tracks midi channel one corresponds to the midi tracks channel one this is the first thing you do when you have set it to one you open up the midi sound panel and then you connect the rest of the four instrument plugins in this case it's the cello because the bass is directly controlled using MIDI channel 1 here. So it starts with cello, viola, violins and least string ensemble. This is basically how it's done. And you can see here how it's configured. The bass is not inside here because it's routed directly from this MIDI channel 1 to this one so it means one mid track can handle five instrument track so we have loaded 12 plugins and a lot of tracks and other stuff here so here is the same solution we have our mid track the master track i painted it green because it's allowed to edit this one those other ones are also mid track but they are clones or copies of the first one which you can see using this marvelous function here so if i edit the top one all the other one is listening so don't edit those ones because you want to control all the instrument plugins with only one basic midi lane so I close this one and how do you create a copy that listens to the other ones, to the other tracks? Well, it's easy. If I only copy a track in a, in a standard way using the Alt key on a PC, it got no equal sign as you can see here. So if I do the copy again, but this one I hold Alt and Shift, it will make a clone. And as I said, a clone will listen on the track it comes from which is beautiful so let's listen up to the first track here which controls the symphony track that has cello violas violins and string ensemble
curve and the corresponding modulation. Well, I think you got a picture of what's going on here. So when you have constructed your first MIDI track, then you clone the MIDI track. So this is the first clone. And the clone is then routed to the next instrument section. And here it is, four different instruments. And they come from another set from native instruments. So I've done the same thing as before. The number one is usually cloned with the MIDI channel one, but here I think, since I only have four instruments, I have cloned them directly. No, I have not. The bass listens to the MIDI track number one. So the MIDI track here controls the bass, but the rest, the cello, starts here, the violas starts here, and the session violins starts there. So it's the same thing. It's guided by the clone here. So if I play it, those this section listens to this media track, and this media track listens to that original media track. Really basic, it's useful. Well, I think you got a clue what's going on here. So I clone this one once more and it's here. And this MIDI track guides brass and woodwind, which you can find here. And least but not last, the timpani section, which is below here. So. This is the way to control an entire orchestra using only one MIDI track. All the tracks are cloned from this one MIDI track. And of course, inside here, I also have a lot of other stuff controlling vibrator as, as useful, sorry, as normal. So don't draw your modulation curves inside the MIDI tracks by themselves because there will be a huge job to reproduce the curves once you edit one instrument. You need to do it 12 times here. But with this solution, you only need to do it once. So that's all for me. Bye bye from Somin Studios.